Welcome back to the show. Let's talk to Sean Richards. Um, he's an economist um, under the title, Not a Yes Man Economic. Sean, welcome to the show. Um, you came in and said you wanted to talk about bond markets. Dare I ask, we're in a bubble, allegedly. Are you calling the top of the bond market? Ha, that's a nice idea. In fact, in some ways, I was thinking of that last November when Trump came in. And then we saw the US bond market move for these days sharply lower, not sharply lower in the terms that I've seen in the past. Whereas, in fact, what we've seen in 2017 is a rally, rally for prices here, dropping oh, yields. yields. And the reasons behind this, I think they're various factors. If we look at Trump himself, he promised lots of things. So far, the delivery has been a lot thinner. Yep. And particularly their impact on bond markets, this infrastructure plan, which he was promising last November, which sounded a bit like FDR's New Deal, well, so far we're not really any the wiser, I don't think. We're probably going to get the tax cuts at some point, I would imagine, that seems more likely. So that's faded away. US economy's grown, but not really a lot. And inflation's drifted away. So all these factors have washed in, and we suddenly find that the bomb vigilantes haven't appeared, the idea of yields going higher has been replaced by the fact they've gone lower. And if we bring this now back to the UK, then I think there's a lot more awkward factors, and maybe a bit nearer on your question, which is how can it be this morning, 10-year gilt yield 1.02%. Five-year gilt yield, I think 0.43%. So the inflation we've had this year has wiped out all your yield on your five-year gilts, yep. and some. Yep. How does that work yep. for any form of sanity? But I think the headline is that UK base rates are not going to be touched until 2019. Yeah, but I've seen plenty of times over the years where the gilt markets move sharply one way or the other without base rates. And also, actually, at times, it moving in the opposite direction to them. So there's been all sorts of patterns over time. If you're saying, do I think the Bank of England will raise base rates? No. It's easy. I know there's been various surveys out this week saying they might do it in 2019. Well, anything might happen in the future. Yep. But in terms of the crew right now, looking ahead as far as we can see, that's a no. But that's different to the gilt market. And as I said, we've got an extraordinary list of yields out there, which are simply breathtaking. So could a punter make money going along at a gilt market? Well, on a particular event, I don't know, North Korea currently, I suppose, Bank of England buying again, of course they can. But in terms of an investment, I think that's a lot more dubious. I but mean, these are government bonds on. backed by the government, OK? And these should be, you know, as good as cash. But the reality is, I remember the booms a couple of summers ago. He was trading a permanent fast market and you could have been down 20% on your money in one month. That was a government bond. Well, th th this is the problem of them being at these levels. Isn't it? I noticed um, earlier Bloomberg putting something out saying the... German Bund has had wild swings this year. I think that's utter rubbish. It's barely gone anywhere. These ideas, you have a guilt yield, uh, excuse me, Bund yield that's gone from, I don't know, 0.2 to 0.5. What's that? Yeah. You know, let's even count in the bit when it was a bit negative before, even then. That's not a move on the scales we've seen in the past. Things are constrained. And again, look at levels there, less than half a percent, 10 years. Yeah. German economy's growing. But this all gives the argument that you put your money into equities, right? If you can find somewhere with a reliable dividend yield, then there does seem to be, doesn't there? Because you can find places that will get you a fair bit more Five, than six, that. Seven percent. Yeah, of course there's a risk. Yeah. You know, I mean, I can remember back into the days before the credit crunch that people thought places like Lloyds Bank were a perfectly safe place to pick Until up. You, <laughs> Until the value and then, of your investment uh, halved uh, and halved and halved. Exactly. Okay, so final thoughts going into um, Q4, Q3. Okay, what's, what, what should I be doing if I was tempted to get involved with um, a yield play? I wouldn't, basically. Wise words, Sean. That's why you're not a yes man economics. Um, Sean Richards, thank you very much for your time. Thank you.